On the Gila River Indian community, it's the dawn of a new school day, but the virtual classrooms are barely half full. What percentage of your students are able to connect easily to the internet right now? With connectivity, right now we're probably at 60% attending class. Elementary school teacher Angela Moreno says until recently, most of the 194 families at their school had no Wi-Fi or devices at home to make distance learning even possible. What is that feeling like when just 60% of students are able to attend class? It's difficult, you know, but you're, you're proud to see the ones that are there, but you kind of worry about the ones that aren't there. At the home of Deanna and Danny Brooks. So we have a high schooler, she's a ninth grade, um, seventh grade, a third grader, and a second grader. There's no broadband. Trouble's connecting? Yeah, for some reason hers is buffering. They had to use Deanna's phone as a hotspot for all four kids. It's on my shoulders that we have to, you know, push our kids to learn more just because they're raised in a reservation. I just want them to get an education that's really great for them. Why is there this infrastructure gap here in the community? Just like many other Indian tribes, there has been a lack of infrastructure development from the federal government. Education, health care, housing, they've fallen way short. About 200 miles away on the Navajo Nation, Thea Nez's home doesn't even have electricity. Her family has a generator, but they can only use it sparingly. She misses everybody at the school. She gets really upset at times. Luckily, her grandmother lives nearby. Grandma has a solar system set up to where she can plug her computer into an outlet, an actual outlet. But it only works when the sun's out. When it's cloudy, their lights go out. I think our broadband saturation here on the Navajo Nation is at 8%. Navajo entrepreneur Blue Adams is working on solutions, coordinating donations from private businesses, like this plane loaded with tablets for Navajo students. Back on Gila River, Intel has donated laptops to every student. What have you left up? There you go. Thank you. And the school procured mobile hotspots for each family a temporary solution. But only two devices can be connected at a time. Until Gila River completes local broadband improvements. My girls, they're, they're so amazing. They're still able to get up in the morning and continue their studies as if it was normal to them. Well, we, we can't have them fall behind. Not one month, not one week, not one day. A whole generation's future is on the line. Vaughn Hilliard, NBC News, Heal the River Indian community. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.